It's over a hundred years of celebrating women globally through the International Women's Day. The day highlights issues affecting women in their quest for success. However, over the years, the conversation has changed and gradually improving around the potentials of the women in nation building, but there are still much to be done. Plus TV news correspondent Ngozika Ohechisi reports. Every 8th of March, women all over the world are celebrated for the hard win rights of women and to majorly focus on the challenges still ahead to fight against gender discrimination to almost all parts of life. The theme for this year's celebration, gender equality, today for a sustainable tomorrow, focuses on making the world equitable, inclusive, and free from bias and discrimination in order to level the playing field for women. Happy International Women's Day! These women by the roadside, making ends meet and making a statement. Women these days, they should be able to give us the right to do things because I don't see anything that a man can do that a woman cannot do. A woman can even fend for the family. We have a lot of single mothers that are still fending, living fine on their own. Widows, they took care of their kids. Some of them have seven kids, maybe five kids, they take care of them all by themselves. We are all fighting, even in the house help, to power man. Even the ones that their power cannot be able to carry, women support a lot. I place Nigerian women, they are very struggling and hard working, so they are trying a lot. We don't wait for man before we eat. We struggle up and down to train our children because of tomorrow. We can see today is a wonderful day for a woman. All glory be to God. We thank God for everything that's good, no man, no man, no man, at everywhere. Wemimo Adewoni, a rights advocate for women, believes celebrating the female gender is not about rolling out the drums, but the need to identify with the strength of women in different fields of endeavors. Women in Africa, if you look at the informal sector, women are doing a lot of business. But when it comes to playing the real game of business, the tables where it matters, you find very few women in these spaces. So this day throws a light on the importance of looking at women's participation in politics and governance everywhere humanly possible. In Nigeria, the bias against women came to fore when the House of Representatives voted against all the gender bills in the ongoing 1999 constitutional amendment aimed at improving political inclusion of women. When Mimo shares a piece of her mind. What we need to do is, this is not the end of the road. The bill has been thrown out by our lawmakers, but it still has to, it's, the bills are still coming back to the state houses of assembly. So that is why you see the protests, because now we have to intensify pressure on the state assemblies to negate what the National Assembly has done by rejecting what they have done. We also need to put pressure on the president not to agree to these bills that the lawmakers have negated. Interestingly, you see that um, the, the bills that favor the lawmakers, they were quick to pass them. But only five bills out of 68 were meant to address women issues. They unanimously, quite disappointingly, voted against women. That's what I can see happen there. With the hashtag break the bias, perhaps this is a morale boost for women to be loud about their various potentials in the social, economic and political space as Nigeria hinges close to her election year. Ngazika or Haichasi, Plus TV Let's News. Down we can do it. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.